Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome into another custom minifigure Monday. Today we're going to be looking at Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, which of course uh, I get to partner with them. And if you haven't seen the video, they sent me a bunch of free stuff in a box from Warner Brothers as well as I get to attend the premiere this week. So I'm super excited about that. So with the release of the movie, I was already going to do content on it anyways, including a custom minifigure Monday, maybe some other stuff throughout the week. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, everyone, let's go ahead and let's talk about this minifigure. Now, unfortunately, I was going through all of the actual torsos and different things on Brickset. There's only one gold torso that has really any feminine features or even just like a neck. Like, I don't even know. Like, it's only the one that would really work, I guess. And uh, it's the ancient one from, of course, Doctor Strange. And I really don't like that torso use, but unfortunately, it's the only gold one that exists. So can't really do anything with that so I had to think outside of the box and then I started to look and I saw a lot of people reversing torsos and different things for uh, to have the pink and all that so it hit me I was like let's go ahead and let's search on brick set for different shades of pink so I came across one and it was actually Bernadette's from the Big Bang Theory and I was like oh that'll be so great because of course she voiced her in she actually voiced Harley Quinn in that animated movie that nobody likes, but then it hit me. Who else is on the Big Bang Theory that played Harley Quinn? Of course, I had to go and I found Penny's torso and luckily it was pink and I think it works really, really well. So that's what I'm using here. This is actually Penny's from the Big Bang Theory set. Now it is pretty difficult to get your hands on, but really I've just seen a lot of uh, different purists of people actually just flipping around a pink torso and different things like that. But uh, so yeah. I thought that that was a nice little homage, I guess, but the only problem with it, of course, is that we've got some skin color there, which really does bother me, but there is literally, I've searched and searched and searched for so long, and I cannot for the life of me find <laughs> something better, but uh, yeah, so that's the torso that we're using here. The head, I would say, is pretty difficult to get your hands on. That's from the Apocalypse Burke set. And that's actually, officially, the Margot Robbie uh, Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn. And, yeah, I, I really do like it. I think it looks really good. But the problem that they... I, I don't like what they do with it. They give her white hair. And I really don't think that her her hair is white. So I think that the blonde one here, also the colors are better because for the actual hair piece, it's red and blue, which doesn't make sense. But uh, the one from the summer, the four plus set actually has Harley with pink hair as well as having it blue. So I think that that works really well. If you wanted to, I would say that that head is a good substitution for Harley if you wanted to, because of course, you know, it's hard to get your hands on. But uh, in terms of the arms are just white as well as the hands and the legs are gold. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I don't have the Rex Celsior ship or whatever it is from the Lego Movie 2. But the rollerblades in blue actually come in that set, which would be perfect for this. It would be a little more accurate, but I think the red ones work fine from the Lego Batman movie, different sets and the CMF series and all that. So we got a regular bat there in medium nougat. And her accessory here, it is a little bit hard to get your hands on. That piece here, it is, I think it is printed, but that was actually from the Lego Batman movie Batwing, the huge one. So it is hard to get your hands on, but... Subbed out a couple of the different things. I don't like that the handle's so long, so I put the light gray one from last week, as well as I just subbed out the white parts there because it should be medium nougat, but uh, that piece there doesn't come in that color, unfortunately. So yeah, that is the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey version of her for this week. Uh, there will be some other stuff that I'd love to do for the movie, so... Be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification because we're going to get a review and some other fun stuff that I've got planned. So I hope that you did enjoy this and I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.